to another Chartner TA video. I'm currently diving into Chainlink today. I did post a video on Link um, a few days ago now. Um, so I'm just going to be recapping from where I left off. And, and we're looking at the daily time frame right now, guys. So straight off the bat, you can see that Chainlink has got this um, level of resistance above itself uh, right now, okay, which is a price of, I think it's around $9.30. Okay, and um, we've also got a, a low in for ourselves right here that we put in back in June, just like Bitcoin and many other altcoins. Okay, but from this low, you can see that Chainlink is, um, it's adhering to this ascending level of support. Okay, so just like XRP did, just like a few other projects did, what's happened here is you've come into a low, okay, you've retraced back up to resistance and you're coming back for support and then you're basically coiling up in this ascending triangle pattern um, looking for a break either you lose support you go short back down to where you started the ascending triangle or you break out to the upside and you go long okay with a technical target to the upside so with this in mind um, what you can see within this ascending triangle here as well is, is you've got this left shoulder a few other analysis that um cover link are looking at this as well and you've got this head right here and then potentially you've got this right shoulder so it's an inverse head and shoulders it's called um and your breakout pattern target if you do break out to the upside okay equally would be the same target as this um as this ascending triangle and if you was to break out of that you could see link um look to to break out towards around 15 to 16 dollars Sounds like a bit of opium, doesn't it? But that's the technical target of this ascending triangle on the daily. You've been coiling up and, and basically forming. To, to me, it looks like a low, okay? Because you've just been in this range for a while, okay? And you've just got an ascending level of support in this range, okay? And, and you're looking to coil up back up to this resistance here at $9.30, okay? Um, in my eyes, I do think it's a, a big potential that that is on the cards right now. And what you can see is within this ascending triangle, Okay, we've got this, um, the last point of resistance at $9.30, okay, and then we've got this, this, this basically a horizontal triangle within the larger ascending triangle, okay, so you've come up here into resistance, you've come back for support, and then you've come up to resistance, you've come back for support, you're now currently running up to resistance, if we break here and get a close above this descending level of resistance here, okay, it could give that confirmation that we're looking to retest this, this um, resistance one once more. Uh, at nine dollars thirty okay so just to make it a bit clearer i'll take this off so yeah what i'm looking at here is some sort of uh, horizontal symmetrical triangle we're going to get squeezed into a corner price compression and we're going to get expansion i have a breakout to the upside okay and retest that nine dollars thirty or you're going to break down to the downside okay and you're going to retest this this low down here okay because you, as i said you're, you're stuck in this sort of range at the moment um now, again, when could this break occur? So it could go all the way up until the 24th of October if it really wanted to and just coil sideways like it's been doing for, for, for many months now since May, um, June, okay? So for a few months, we've just been trading sideways and you can see we're literally up and down in this sort of range, okay? And as I said, though, we've got this ascending level of support. So for me to get continuation to the upside, this trend line right here has to hold. If we was to get rejected here and come back down, I would like to find support along this area, okay, and basically just squeeze into this corner before getting the continuation to the upside. Um, and yeah, that's that's basically my my update for Link, I guess. Really, um, I'm just gonna look at potential targets here, okay? Again, so just going off these projections right here. I mean, the target that I'll be looking for for the breakout of this. Um, horizontal if we was to break out to the upside along here i think you'd be retracing back up to around 11 dollars. at which point uh you can see it ties up with this sort of wick area of support that we had back in february um back here before we had this relief rally to get our continuation down to the downside okay so you know it's a, it's a game of support and resistance and right now we're, we're basically coiling up on this ascending level of support Okay, as long as we hold that, guys, it's it remains rather bullish because you can come down like this, as I said, and keep coming up and come down. And as long as you break out and you retest this nine dollars thirty, it's at that point the link will make a decision what it wants to do moving forward, and and obviously depending on the rest of the market, um, 
uh, how, and, and and how it is at the time. So I'm gonna get a fib on um, from this low. Okay, we were retracing to this high, and we haven't broke out of that high since. Okay, because we came to a low, retraced to a high. Uh, sorry, we came to a low, we bounced up to this point of resistance, came back for a low. And then we bounced up to that resistance again, and now we're coming back trying to trying to break out to that nine dollars uh, thirty sort of area, isn't it? Nine dollars thirty, I think I had it in. So, for me, if we do get that breakout, as I said, um, you're looking if if you can close above this one fib at nine dollars fifty, okay. If we can close above that, the minimum target for me is that eleven dollars at the one two seven two, and that's exactly what ties up with the breakout um, of of this pattern that I just showed you a minute ago so of of this uh horizontal triangle right here okay you'd have the breakout target from there to there and when that breaks out okay look you see you're coming up to that 11 dollar mark so for me as i said hopefully right now hold this ascending level of support uh and 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 eventually get the push up uh to the nine dollars fifty nine dollars nine yeah, between nine dollars thirty and nine dollars fifty area Okay, and if we do get that 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 sort of push up right now, okay, and retest this for a third time, it's at that point we decide. Okay, we'll look at the chart, see where we are, and 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 have a look at what what sort of patterns are in play, where we're moving forward. Okay, the negative side uh, is if you start to lose it. Okay, so say for instance, right now we start to roll down and lose this level of support and close below it. Okay, the minimum retest for me is back down at these lows, unfortunately, that we have in June. Okay, so that's just a. An easier way to look at it, keeping it on the daily time frame, zoomed out a little bit. In the four hour, I'm gonna have a look at what's going on the four hour time frame right now. So yeah, even in even in the four hour, you've got this similar level of resistance right now that we need to sort of close above for us to get any sort of continuation. I mean, from this low retracing to this high, we are currently bouncing off the 0618 here, which is nice to see because look, okay, on, on the smaller time frames, on the four hour, we came down to this low here at $6.50. We ran up to the 050 at $7.20, came back for support on the 382, and then we broke out, okay, and we retested this resistance, this local resistance uh, that we've had since the 11th of September, okay, for a third time. Right now, you've come back for support off that and you're holding the 55 and we're looking to push and test $8 um, to $8.10 again. Now, if we break above $8.10 and hold that as support, for me, you're looking for a push up to $9.30. And again, that is exactly where we are looking to try and reach to get this 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 third attempt of a breakout for Chainlink. So on the four hour time frame, it's really not looking too bad. It's looking pretty decent. Um, as long as you can break above eight dollars ten and see the confirmation will close above that, we are on a ride up to that nine dollar thirty area where we're looking to meet um, resistance. Okay, guys. So that's a quick update for me. I will be doing another video on Chainlink in a couple of days, um, and hopefully from that point, you know, we could be in a better position to to mark some trades moving forwards. Uh, on the four hour, I want to show you a downside potential target as well. Uh, just before I go, because I showed you, you know, that um, $9.30 is my target to the upside. The downside target for me uh, sits at approximately what I would like to see support held. If we do come up in some sort of A, B, C coming back for support, I would like us to, to hold $7.20, which is this previous swing high here. Okay, because since you've broken out of that, okay, you came up here, came up for support. As soon as you broke out of $7.20, you haven't actually back tested it as support. So it'd be nice if we did start to lose this 55 uh on the four hour again to come down come down to that area for support okay and if you lose that then you're looking at the 618 at seven dollars um for an area of support here okay so yeah guys that's my potential targets come up here hold support here break out you're looking for a push up to the nine dollars thirty area okay at the one six one eight up here somewhere uh and if, if if we don't and we put in a lower high right here on the four hour i would look and expect a retracement back down to the swing high on the four hour at seven dollars twenty so yeah i'm sorry if that's all a bit confusing guys i'm switching between time frames i'm trying to trying to keep things simple in my videos but yeah um until next time guys there's a quick update for you on chain link i hope you enjoyed today's content please like comment and subscribe um until next time take care uh, take care peace out